Um, also, in this stream, uh, I'll be practicing uh, looking at the chat on the on Twitch while streaming because I have to practice that, uh, see what you guys are, are writing me. Um, so, so that's new as well. All right. So first thing uh, we got on box is uh, some models from uh, CP Models, and uh, I've clicked into the website. And uh, it should uh, it should work here in the stream. So, CP Models is a small uh, UK uh, miniature uh, seller, and I've been I've been having a look at their website a ton of uh, a ton of times, and never really had a good reason to order any models from here. They have. Uh, 20 millimeter, 6 millimeter, 15 millimeter ranges, all kinds of stuff. And I went in here because I wanted some, uh, I needed some vapor snakes from, uh, for Perilous Dark, uh, Frostgrave, and picked up some other stuff while I was at it. The cool thing about CP models is their models are really cheap and they have so many different. So let's go see if we can find some. 28 millimeter sci-fi the website is pretty easy to find your way around and let's see here scum and smugglers so the models from cp are around two two and a half pounds per model that's fairly cheap for a for a metal miniature shipping was decent uh, to denmark really not that bad uh, and they have a lot of uh, packs where you can buy like three models for six pounds. So two pounds for a for a metal miniature. And I just read on the front page here that uh, random free figure with every order. So if you make a sci-fi order, you will get a free figure randomly selected from our sci-fi ranges. So that's cool uh, because I actually don't know which model I've got in the box. That's uh, a freebie. So yeah, check them out. Uh, shipping was uh, quick. Um, yeah, shipping was shipping was quick. Uh, the models are well packed, and um, and they're they are constantly expanding their ranges. Uh, if you follow CP uh, models on uh, Instagram or Facebook. They put up a lot of pictures all the time of uh, of new models and constantly showing off their their ranges. So yeah, I often go, oh, I need to put those on the someday buy list. Um, yeah. So here we are, CP models. Let's see if this works. Yeah. All right. So I've had the. It's not a true unboxing because I've already had the box open to get out the snakes that I painted up to use as uh, vapor snakes for uh, for frost gray. And here are the uh, other bags. And I might even have forgotten some of the stuff I bought. So, all right, first up is and if uh, some small bubble wrap. Yeah, so that's why I need to fix the uh, the AI for the for the sound don't know what messed it up but I, I need to make it work again so here some small snake swarms that I bought because I want to get into the desert expansion for uh, ranges of shadow deep and I just figured that I would need some uh, snakes at some point so they're here um, nice little bases one cast um, the detail yeah, it's pretty simple. I mean, I could probably have made something looking just as good with uh, with green stuff quite easily. But they were dirt cheap, so no reason not to support a small company. I wonder, they might end up being quite hidden when I add sand to the base as well. Because they are rather small, but cheap. So, um, in the pile... Uh, yeah, snakes. Why does it always have to be snakes? Good for Indiana Jones as well. Okay, this guy is uh, also. I bought him with the uh, with Rangers of Shadow Deep in mind 
Uh, the desert expansion, figured I could use this uh, Emir Isa Sultan uh, from a uh, Sinbad range they have, and he's, uh, he's set to be a 25mm model on the page. And let's just see, so I just, I just went with it and shot, well, he'll be a short guy then. Um, let's see him, so here he is next to a uh, Dunkeldorf miniature. Uh, Female Frostgrave soldier, and those are 28 millimeter. Uh, Games Workshop model, uh, Reaper Bones, and Brother Vinnie's the Witcher. And my models are all all manner of sh uh, scales, anyways. You know, uh, 28 to to uh, 32. Um, so let's have a look here. So considering that he's He's sold as a 25 millimeter model, and the others are 28s. That's not uh, that's not too bad, really. Uh, bam. Yeah, cool little guy. Yeah, he does look like the the Sultan from Aladdin, actually. I think he's a copy of that, though he has a sword, that's not very, I don't, I don't recall if he had a sword in, uh, in Disney's Aladdin, but, and his head, his head is rather big, compared to this uh, Frostgrave mini, so yeah, he'll do just, do just fine on a base, some sand, he'll fit right in with the, uh, with the 28 millimeters, and I think he was uh, one and a half pounds, so a nice little model, think I'll I can probably use him as a uh, an MVP I know that you need a cartographer or something like that for one of the scenarios and there's some guys you need to protect so yeah I could probably use him for that uh, how big was his cast on base yeah his cast on base is uh, same size as his ropes so that'll get hidden easily with a bit of sand Nice clean cast here at the bottom. I think, yeah, this has been grinded by the company actually. So that's completely flat and ready to be uh, put on a base by, uh, by me. Uh, next up, let's see here. Oh yeah, so I bought some, I bought some oriental looking uh, Shaolin monks. Um, yeah, very nice service. Uh, these are, I think they're, the, the range is called the Mystical, Mystical East or something like that, uh, 28 millimeter models. I got these uh, because uh, Joseph McGuire, who rolled uh, This Is Not A Test and Reality Edge, is working on, he, uh, he binge watched Avatar The Last Airbender, and, uh, and after binge watching Avatar The Last Airbender, he wrote a game called Battle of the Elemental Masters, where you control a single model uh, using one of the four elements, and then it's a, a, a battle game played on a, on a small small board. So I figured, yeah, I need to play that, that's cool. And I've been looking for a reason to build an, uh, a samurai uh, Japanese board for some time. So, uh, and yeah, their adventurers are really nice for the price. Yeah, they have so many classic adventurers and dwarf models, uh, if you need something like that. So, I got these guys. Uh, this guy was for himself. These three are a set, Shaolin Monks. Uh, pretty slim, small, but the details, yeah, it's hard to see here on this camera, but the details are actually fairly deep, so they'll be nice uh, and easy to paint, and uh, as I paint them, paint them up and just give him a wash. So I was planning to use uh, this guy as, uh, let's see if I can remember, I think, yeah. This guy I might be making into a uh, wind uh, mage, a wind bender. And I need to figure out using some kind of cotton or something like that. This guy uh, is gonna be water. I'm gonna make some green stuff water or some clear resin or something between his hands here or some kind of ball. Uh, of water energy and then I go nuts on their bases with the element there and this guy he's gonna be a uh, earthbender because he looks just like 
one of the characters at the start of uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender, kicking, uh, kicking a ball of earth. So I need to do some kind of rock uh, from his uh, foot right there. And then this, I think he was called a sensei uh, on CP Models website. Uh, he's older, you know, some nice wrinkles and got that classic uh, sensei beard. So he's going to be a firebender with, I got to sculpt the flame or something on his hand here. Someday, you know, spur of the moment thing, but a uh, good reason to build some more terrain. His finger is a little long there. Might need to cut it off, but an easy game, you know, and a good reason to, to make a, a small board and buy some more uh, TT combat terrain. And I'm actually waiting for some bamboo, uh, model tray bamboo uh, I bought on eBay. Nice little models, uh, thin, slim, how do they compare in size? We just put one of them. Yeah, so <laughs> these are 28 millimeter guys and they are quite small compared to the 25 millimeter guy. But that's our hobby. Scale is all over the place. Cool little minis, cheap. Off to the sides with uh, them. Ma'am, let's see, what, sorry, just joined. What was the game you uh, just mentioned? So I was just talking about, uh, I think he's calling it uh, Battle of the Elemental Masters. It's uh, Joseph McGuire, he's written a small game um, where you control an elemental mage. Uh, and it's a combat game, one character versus one character, and they are specialized in fighting with uh, elemental magic. Uh, inspired by Avatar The Last Airbender. Alright, so the last guys I bought from CP Models, those I've been eyeing for a long time. And that's, um, that's some sci-fi sci civilians, I think they're called sci-fi civilians, on the website. And this is one of those bundles that comes uh, three models for six pounds, so really cheap. Um, yeah, I think that uh, Elemental Masters will probably get uh, uh, published through uh, get published through Blaster Magazine, this uh, indie magazine from uh, yeah Joseph McCullough is in there as well and Sean Sutter. So a lot of the bigger indie games. Uh, are putting together this blaster magazine and I think Fury of the Elemental Masters will be in that at some point but I don't know um, so I got these guys because I've been eyeing them for some time uh, and I love Necromunda I love uh, all the cyberpunk stuff and they just look uh, they just look cool three uh, three mechanics so this is a thing to, to take away from this stream as well. It's pretty hard to unbox white metal miniatures. Let's take the other camera, see if that works better. So, so we have these guys here. They have a, uh, they have a nice size. And this guy, yeah, the hammer is for this guy and he's having a Big wrench, and this guy is just rocking some cool overalls. So I have no plan for these models really. Um, they are they were just cheap, and while when I paid shipping, I wanted to to get some more models anyways. Um, but they'll be they'll be good civilians for cyberpunk gaming and filling out a uh, Necrom board. this again and the bases on these guys um, yeah good uh, also filed flat so they stand right away it's nice no work really uh, really not much much uh, flash or um, yeah perfect for a dockyard shootout I've just been reading the expanse uh, novel series and binge watching the TV series so perfect for something like that as well very little flash on all these models actually uh, nothing really to to clean off the mold lines are very small they're gonna take many more work 
to, to remove mold lines from this. So great models. Uh, that was the mechanics. And then we have, what do we have here? Yeah, oh, these, yeah, these were just cool. So they, they all look like somebody who's uh, standing out in the rain. They have a nice Blade Runner feel to them. Let's see if we can get the camera to put sharp here. Uh, so this is a male rocking a cool stash. Um, all kinds of small gears and trinkets and pouches. Leather jacket. He could work also for some post-apocalypse stuff. Uh, a female rocking a long coat. These actually also, uh, they could work as uh, 40k civilians. They, uh, they look like something straight out of uh, the way civilians are described in the Eisenhorn series. And uh, this guy, he was pretty cool, rocking a hood. And it's a bit hard to make out all the details, but they have small armor plating and uh, lines that's obviously uh, in, in the future, uh, in the clothing, small pieces of electronic gear. Yeah, again, I have no plans for these guys. I just uh, thought they were cool and cheap. And when I was paying shipping for the Vapor Snakes anyways, I might uh, as well get some more models, considering the, how cheap they are. And unlike a lot of companies, the shipping didn't really went, uh, go up when I added more models to the cart. That's the eternal problem when I order something from uh, North Star military figures because shipping gets a lot higher every time you add something. And this is the freebie model because he's the only one left. And I think that's a Soidberg clone. Oh, he is now oh, he yeah he doesn't have the claws but his face he's rocking a pretty good dr soidberg face let's see if we can get him yeah, he's hard to see very shiny here so some kind of tentacle dude he's obviously an alien he's rocking a cool suit and a vest um Obviously a politician of some kind. I mean this This pose is He's giving a speech somewhere Well nice model I don't know what I'm gonna use him for but he could probably join um, He could probably join uh, what are they called uh, He he could get the claws. Why not Soidberg? Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna convert him, give him some small claws, make him a proper Soidberg. That would be cool. That's a nice model to have. I wonder if there is any uh, Futurama models out there. Actually, that could be cool. Or otherwise, he'll be a uh, a diplomat for the Nameless. All the all the Dead Zone, Star Saga, Nameless aliens. They have all. They all have tentacle faces as well. Or some kind of Call of Cthulhu dude. Yeah, he, this guy could work for a lot of stuff. He could be a Blood Bowl coach. Yeah, that as well. I'm not sure for what team. So, nice model. Alright, so uh, that was a nice, uh, that was some nice models. I'm looking forward to painting them up eventually. Uh, because when I don't need them, I'm probably not going to paint them. But they're good to have and they work cheap. Uh, please, um, I'm checking the chat, so, so if there is any uh, questions about scale or comparison to other models or something like that, just uh, drop them and we'll uh, check it out. But that was uh, CP models. Can you please say again where these minis come from? Yeah, uh, CP models. I'm just going to write it here. Uh, boom. Small UK company, I think it's a one-man business. Um, great stuff. Check out the website. I've been looking for a reason to buy from there forever. If you want to build a Frostgrave warband, go check out their fa fantasy. Um, go check out their fantasy uh, line, 28 millimeter, uh, 28 millimeter fantasy. 
there are 200 models and they have so many different, especially dwarfs. They have so many cool dwarfs. Uh, Hawkman, Gnomes, Dwarven Empire, Dwarf Adventurers. Those are really cool, but I've already built a warband for Frostgrave. Classic Adventurers here. Um, you know, very classic look on the Wizard, uh, Knights, Halfling Adventurer. I love this guy. He's a cool mage. Uh, check out the Chaos Dwarfs. They are yeah, I think yeah, the the Chaos Dwarfs are really um, old school, like second edition Warhammer Chaos Dwarfs, like with a lot of chaos in the Chaos Dwarfs. Yeah, lovely, crazy old stuff. These would fit nicely between the the Marauder line of uh, Chaos Dwarf models. Fun and quirky. So. That was uh, CP 